Well, as you can see, I ended up uh, tweaking my tic-tac-toe, so I was tired of Alabama and Auburn. So I went ahead, changed the images, changed the color scheme. So now we have Pirate Pete. So I think I call him Image PHS, Image FHS. This label has now been renamed LBL Score PHS. This is LBL Score FHS. Those are still the same. Uh, change the title, Palatine Tic-Tac-Toe. File, save, exit, pick a player, PHS, FHS, and I put a default check on PHS, help about. I think everything else is the same. Probably my play again button doesn't function. I'll probably get errors. But nonetheless, I go into the coding, and I changed everything. This is still the same. It'll work. I have the eight outcomes that I told you about. So I went through all of that. And now when I press play, it looks good. And then this happens. Winner already. What is going on? Most of you have this glitch. So your game's not going to work. And you get winner every time. You get a little infinite loop here. Well, I'm going to press stop. I'm going to explain what's going on. Because we're using the properties tags, you know, when this image box has the same tag as this image box and this image box, then you have a winner. So in the coding, if you click on this one, it's going to put Pirate Pete in here, the image, and then the tag PHS. Then the next guy, the tag FHS. But at the very beginning, what tags do they have? This has a tag, nothing. It's blank. This one has a tag that's blank. This one has a tag that's blank. So that's a winner. The computer's still going through the logic. It thinks because they all have this, because your coding declares a winner when they all have the same tag, well, they're all blank. So a winner. So you have a lot of multiple winners right after another because it's checking all of them. So my fix for this is I give them unique tags to start. So I go to this this box and because it's image ttt1 I give it a tag of 1 it's just just a number 1 this tag I give it 2 this tag 3 so each tag of each image box is unique 4 5 6 7 8 9 now they have I'll save that now they have unique tags you're not going to get that error because none of them are the same. Now I press play. Friend goes first. Okay, now this looks right. Bingo, winner. I got that. Reset does not work, so I'll ignore that. So now you fix that Kenny glitch, Singleton, and you get to listen to an announcement. Kenny Singleton, please report to now I also told you go through and for all of your cases have a message box so you declare winner you had make it more meaty so notice how I have the tag so whatever tag is the winner in this case I only have two tags either the tag is PHS or the tags FHS so depending on the winner that tag will be an ampersand connected to the string is the winner message box style I'm using exclamation and then title of my message box the winner is dot 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 so I'm gonna have to add that to all eight the other seven outcomes and this is the right column so if I play I showed this yesterday right column there we go that was the tag. Oops, I got it backwards. So I better fix that. It should say FHS. FHS is the winner because that was the tag. VB exclamation, and here's the title. The winner is dot, dot, dot. So I have the tags in the wrong backwards. So I'll hit stop. Let's fix that mistake. I set it up here. Turn zero, it's Frem that's going first. So FHS for that tag and this is PHS I probably should have Pirate Pete go first not Fremd I can change that later 
There we go. FHS is the winner. Add that to the other seven cases and you're fixed with that. What's next? Coding for the score. So how do I get these to go up from zero? Well, I'm going to have to add an if statement inside of an if statement. So I'm going to have some nested loops. So let's go to that one that's meaty. I have this. Now this is already an if statement, but I'm going to add another one inside of that. So a nested loop. If image ttt3.tag, which is the winner, is equal to FHS, then label score FHS. Oh, that doesn't work. I was doing a trick. Dot text. Is it plus one that gives me that little trick? No. Nope. Dot text equals label score FHS dot text plus one. There. Else label score PHS dot text equals label score PHS dot text plus one and the end if is already here. So if if friend was the winner, so the tag, then obviously add one to the score. Otherwise, well, there's no other choice. Then add one to PHS. Even that might be glitchy. So let's press play. Again, I'm only doing the right column. PHS is the winner. That should add the score. There we go. A score of 1. Let's try friend. FHS is the winner. Their score went up by 1. So here is the if statement for the right column. And inside of that is another if statement, depending on the winner, to increase their counter by one, their score. So we got that covered. Music. How can I add music depending on the score? Well, I probably want to get the fight songs, first of all. So either I look online for the fight songs or download them. It really doesn't matter, but I need to add another tool. I need a Windows Media Player. So all here, there is no Windows, me Windows Media Player. But again, I right click, choose items, this tab, COM components, and scroll down to the very bottom, Windows Media Player. I'm going to add that. And there, another tool. Click and drag. And I have, by default, X Windows Media Player. Doesn't really matter how you call it. You can hide it. You know, I'll rename it WMP uh, Fight Songs. If I can find them. Probably not. I'll play something else. So now you have that in there ready for my next video on how to code. All right, it took me a while, but I think I found the fight song. So I went, had a Google University of Illinois loyalty because our fight song is based off of them. And here's a MP3, that's shareware. So I'm going to hold on to that link. I don't want to download it, so I'll hold on to that link right there. and. I'm going to try to incorporate it into my tic-tac-toe. So I have this Windows Media Player. I want that to play, obviously, when Palatine wins. So if I can remember the coding, let's go here. 
obviously when Palatine wins. So I called it WMP fight song dot URL equals I believe we go through this process. Copy that. Control C. Control V. So that loads the song. Again, I'm not downloading it, so I'm going to stream it. So I'm going to need to uh, make sure you have internet connection when you play your tic-tac-toe, or mine at least. Now, I don't believe it's auto start. So I'm going to add another line. Dot ctl controls dot play. Uh, let me shrink this so you can see all the coding. So if Palatine wins, so again, this is if Fremd wins, just the score goes up by one. Else, meaning Palatine must have won, I add those three lines, line 56, 57, 58. All right, let's save this and hope it works. I only coded for the right column. So Fremd first, then Palatine, Fremd, Palatine, Fremd, Palatine. PHS is the winner. Excellent. I actually keep this visible to make sure it's working. Once I know it's working for both, both rivals, then I would make it invisible false. I'll bury it somewhere behind an image, make it, I think I can make it visible false. But I like to have it here visible to make sure it's loading. If it's not loading, then my link is wrong. And when you do find, when you try to find a link, it better end .mp3 or .mp4. You have to find the exact file location to put in your URL. And now that's just the outcome six. I'm going to have to go through this whole process for my seven outcomes. And obviously try to find a song for a friend, and I have no idea what their fight song is like. But that should have you ready to go for Monday when we work on a tie.